It's the first show of the fourth season of the DIY Dish, and you know what that means. It means we're making another pin cushion to add to your collection. I'm Kim. And I'm Chris, and you're watching the DIY Dish. to be back with a new season of the it DIY is. Dish and to be a part of the new channel called My Craft Channel. And as you probably have noticed, we've made a few changes on around here. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have. First, the setting. We are so excited to be filming from Chris's new shop called My Girlfriend's Quilt mm -hmm. Shop. Isn't this place gorgeous? Here's a few photos that will help set the scene, so to speak, on what a fun and inspiring place this oh, is. Oh, thanks, Kim. We've been <laughs> open for about four months now, and it has been such a thrill. Yeah. And thanks to season sponsors like Target, Joanne Fabric, and Craft Stores, you can make this.com, my girlfriend's quilt shop, and more. We're going to be able to bring you all things fabric related. So if you love fabric like we do, yeah. we think you're going to really enjoy this season. Now, if you've been following our show before, you know that we like to carry on a little tradition here at the DIY Dish with making a new pin cushion. So season one, we made the official double layer cake pin cushion. Yeah, that's right. Season two, we made an L that sits up on your shelf. Very cute. And in season three, we invited designer Joel Dewberry to oh. share his design for a bird pin Isn't cushion. Isn't he a cutie? Oh, he is. Yeah, him, <laughs> him and the bird. That's right. And that leads us to our new season. <laughs> and what are we gonna make? Well. It's the DIY Dish Dress Form Mannequin <laughs> Pin Cushion. We thought these would look so chic sitting next to your machine, and they'd be fun to make for all of your friends and family who love to sew too. So here's what you're going to need. First of all, you're gonna need one fat quarter. Now, a fat quarter is an 18 by 22 inch piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. You'll wanna pick up some polyester stuffing, um, about one quarter thick foam board. That's mm -hmm. gonna be for the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of felt, a mini Christmas ornament. <laughs> and we'll tell you why Yeah, in a I was gonna say that might confuse you a little yeah. right now. A candlestick, a button, and some hot glue. It's really easy. So are you ready to get started? Absolutely. Okay, here's what you need to do. First of all, go ahead and download your free pattern at thediydish.com. And here you're gonna have uh, the pattern for the front, the sides, the back and the bottom of that now, doesn't pin cushion. she look slimming? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Once you have downloaded that, go ahead and lay out your fat quarter here. And then take your pattern and placing that arrow along the grain line, mm -hmm. you're just going to put the front and the back down and cut one layer of each. All okay. right. Then you're going to place that side piece and cut two of those. All right. Once you have done that, Go ahead and move that over. Okay. You're gonna have something like this. So you'll have your front piece, your back piece, and your two side pieces. Okay. Now, one thing you wanna note is that on the side piece of that pattern, there's actually a little notch at the very top of it, just as you see here. Make right. sure and cut that notch onto your fabric because that's gonna help you with the placement of the side, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Now, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and lay right sides together. We're going to take the front and back piece and line them up here at the neckline over to the side. Okay. Okay. And just pin that in place in a couple of spots. Now, that's not going directly over top, is it? No, it's not. You've got a little bit more fabric here on the back. Okay. This helps give those nice womanly curves there. Okay. okay. And then starting at the top, you're going to uh, use a quarter inch seam and s go ahead and start stitching. And then you want to back stitch mm -hmm. all the way around this curve line to the end of uh, where the shoulder Just is. Right at the okay. Shoulder. Mm -hmm. Once you do that, you're going to do the same thing on the other side over to the shoulder. Again, that quarter inch. So why don't you go ahead and do that, Chris? Okay. I can definitely do that. <laughs> Okay, easy enough, right? Right. Okay, once you've done that, go ahead and pull that out from your machine and take your scissors to that little neckline and just make a few little clips there. We just want that to lay nicely when we go to turn that inside out. Just a oh, Always the helps curve. to flip the curves. That's right. Okay, now from here is where you're gonna put on the sides. This okay. is a really easy project. In fact, if you do a bunch of them at the same time like I did, as you can see, mm -hmm. you'll be making these for everyone in your family. Okay. Now, the important part to note here is that 
you want the bust line to be facing towards the inner curve, the front side, right? Okay. Makes sense. So make sure you do that. And matching that little clip that you made earlier, you're going to first pin it right up against your seam line there at the top. Okay? All right. So go ahead and pin that in place. And then here's how I figured how to do this through a little bit of trial and error. <laughs> the best way to do this little uh, curve line is to start pinning at the top, but then actually pin it at the bottom next. Okay? Okay, so you're matching it up. Yeah, you're matching up the hem line there, mm -hmm. right? On each side. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to match it up on that side. Okay. And then you're going to ease those pins in, right? Exactly. And then from there, you'll pin, pin, pin all the way along the front and up through the bust line and then down on the back side as well. Sure. So by doing that, you're going to make sure that it's going to curve nicely and your, your uh, fabric's going to line up just right. Okay. okay. So that's the trickiest part, if mm -hmm. there is a tricky part. I think you, everyone can do this. It's not going to be a problem. But pinning it at the top first and then at the bottom is really going to okay, help that process. A that's a great tip, Okay. Kim. So let's go ahead and pin that the rest of that stuff. Alright, so here's my tip, Chris, on sewing the side piece. Okay. You actually will want to start from the bottom where the hem is and sew up, again, that quarter inch all the way around those curves up to that top seam where okay. you pin the shoulder at. Right. Okay, stop there, back stitch, and now starting again from the bottom on the other side, okay. sew a quarter inch all the way up the back side, stop at that uh, seam at the shoulder back stitch and then you've got a perfectly inset shoulder. How fun. Okay. That's so try great. it out. Okay, I can do this. It's great. What a okay. fun project. Yeah. All right. So now with just a little bit of polyfill stuffing, we're going to go ahead stuff and stuff away. Stuff away. Okay. This is really a fun project to do with all different fabrics, too. There's oh. so many cute fabrics well, out there. Well, you can see how many I made because it was addicting. You went a little there crazy. So <laughs> <laughs> I did, but I got to thinking about all my friends that I yes. need to make some Christmas presents for. I even thought about my daughter, who's uh, 12 years old, and I thought she would love to have this oh, in yes, her room. she would. And add maybe her earrings or her necklaces. Other yeah, so yeah, it doesn't have to be it, just a pin cushion. Absolutely. Think of it beyond the pin cushion. Absolutely. Right, you'll want to put it. a a little bit more stuffing right there in that bust line. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of junior high. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> you didn't go there, Kim. Okay, so you're about an inch away from that bottom there. Okay. Now this is where that foam board comes in. You want to go to your local craft store and find foam board in the art section where it's about an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch thick. You just need something that's going to be nice and sturdy for this to right. set on, right? Okay. Okay, so you're going to want to put that inside there. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And now this is when you get out that hot glue gun. I love right. the hot glue gun. Oh, yes. And we're just going to glue a few spots right there. Down like so just finish it off there on the bottom. Now we got to put that little knob on the top. And as I got to thinking, now what could we put there? Mm -hmm. The first thing that came to mind was those little dresser drawer pulls, right? Sure. Yeah. And so if you have some of those laying around, that would be a great thing to put there at the top. Be perfect. But an even cheaper option and still just as cute is that now in the craft stores, they actually have the little mini ornaments yes. that you can purchase. Getting ready for the holidays. Yes. And so look at the fun colors you oh, could have. Wow. Again, it's a little Christmas ornament. Look at all the glitter. Silver and green and blue and gold. I mean, there's all sorts of colors I you can it. choose from. Yes. And all we are going to do is finish Just this off. Put some glue in there. Stick some glue in there. Stick our little ornament in there. Oh. And now you've got. I can't believe how perfect that went in. So now. This little gal has to stand up on something, right? Right. And so I thought, let's break out those candlesticks. Yes. And just 
add a little bit of hot glue. Um, if the glue doesn't work for you, then using something like E6000 would be a good alternative as well. Put it there across the rim. Lay her right there on top. Press it for a few seconds, and voila, you've Yay, got the mannequin pin cushion. That is wonderful. Yeah. That is great, Kim. What yeah. a fun project. I hope you like it as much as I did, because <laughs> this was a really fun project. But Chris, there's something that we do here at My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop that we absolutely love. It's kind of this signature yes. of uh, like what the employees wear yeah. here. And why don't you tell everyone what that is? Well, it's a frayed fabric flower. <laughs> and so we're going to, of course, add one to her. So what I did here was I just tore a small thin strip of fabric. Yeah, it's about three-fourths inches of wide by about 10 inch length. Exactly. Okay. And now I'm just gathering it. A simple gathering stitch with needle and thread along the bottom mm -hmm. edge. Pull it through for a gather and tie the ends together. This makes a really cute flower brooch, of course, for the mannequin, but you can imagine the possibilities for the hair right. and the handbags and all kinds of things. Exactly. I'm going to do a few tack down stitches here. Okay. Then, of course, you have to finish it off with a jeweled button. That's right. <laughs> there you've got your little fabric fl flower brooch. Pin it right there on uh, your little mannequin, and voila, you've got Perfect. the official DIY dish dress form mannequin pin cushion. That's right. Wow. I try, love it. Try saying that 10 times fast. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other finished photos. You know, I can also see these being so cute in a little girl's bedroom, as you mentioned, with your mm -hmm. daughter, or even for your teen to hang her jewelry on. Yeah. I just love it. And now before we end, let's take a look at some of the projects coming up this season. Close, we want to thank you for joining us this season. Whether this is your first viewing of our show or you've watched them all, we want you to know that we appreciate it. This episode was made possible by YouCanMakeThis.com, where you can instantly download patterns and instructions for all kinds of DIY projects, as well as My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop, where you can find kits for these mannequins and a whole lot more. And don't forget, we always love to hear from our viewers, so feel free to drop us a note or even send in a picture of your most recent project. We want to see them. <laughs> yeah. You can find us on Facebook as well as the DIYDish.com. Thanks for joining us today. We hope that you felt creativity was served. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.